Hello, and welcome to what we are going to do, because I have not played a single game on this series in a while that I've enjoyed. I have normally been f not forced to play, like the Bioshock series, which I still enjoyed. However, I didn't really want to play them. So what we're doing is we're going to play my favorite game series known as Halo. And what we're going to do is we're going to play the campaigns. I'm starting at Halo 1, and I have my sweater on for Halo as well. You're going to see this for probably all of Halo 1, because what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the games through. I'm going to do a normal Let's Play just like this, uh, but what we're going to do is I'm going to play Halo 1. I'm going to divide each episode by level. That's probably how I'll do it. And we're going to run it on Heroic, and I'm just going to kind of talk as it goes, because I am a super, super big Halo dork, and I, I probably know way too much about it uh, for my own well-being. So what we're going to do is just start the game. We're going to use the new graphics because it, it just looks better for sake of, I guess, longevity now. Because the first Halo was 2002, 2001. Uh, and now, 10 years later, they did the remastered, which has the newer graphics. And that's how we're going to keep it. We're going to play it on Heroic, not Legendary. I know. Ooh, big whoop. The only reason I'm not playing Legendary is because I'm going to stick to Heroic difficulty throughout all the halos we're going to play them in time order so at first time order of release date so even though this is the remastered back in 2011 2012 we're going to play it as if it was the first original release and during the cinematics i'm going to be quiet so Cortana, all I need to know is, did we lose them? I think we both know the answer to that. We made a Captain Keys. I'm gonna be kind of quiet. It's Some too quiet. Have always been faster. As for I'm comfortably quiet, reach, even in my room. Light speed, my maneuvering options were limited. We were running dark. Yes. Until we decelerated, no one could have missed the hole we tore in subspace. They were waiting for us on the far side of the planet. So, where do we stand? Our fighters are mopping up the last of their recon picket now, nothing serious. But I've isolated approach signatures for more CCS class Sneezed. battle groups. Make it three capital ships per group. And in about 90 seconds, they'll be all over God, us. he has changed. Well, that's it then. Bring the ship back up to combat alert alpha. I want everyone at their station. Everyone, sir? Everyone. And Cortana. Hmm? Let's give our old friends a warm welcome. I've already begun. Hey, the graphics have changed completely. If you go watch the old graphics version of this game, it's completely different. And that came out 2001, 2002. Uh, I think it's 2002. Whole ship. This is the Pillar of Autumn. And that's the interior. This is the armory. Or part of an armory. Vehicle bay. It was 2001, November 15th, 2001. Johnson. The worst enemy than the human race. We are going to blow the hell out of those dumb bugs until we don't have anything left to shoot them with. And then we are going to strangle them with their own living guts. Am I right, Marie? Need a morale speech. There you go. That's one thing I always liked actually on the voice actor for him. Like tough voice just going through sergeant. So he's always going to be tough. Sergeant Major. All you greenhorns who wanted to see Covenant up close. This is going to be your lucky day. The rankings kind of abide by the U.S. rankings for the military. Navy. So 
sure? Right. Let's thaw him out. Okay. Bringing low-level systems online. Cracking the case in 30 seconds. Navy and Marines. Those are the two. Depends on uh, who you're talking about. Like, our main character here, Master Chief, will abide by the Navy five. ranking system. While Johnson over there will abide by the Marine ranking system. Hey, and because it's heroic, I don't need to do the intro stuff, which is up, down, left, right. Or just look around the pod. Alright, so essentially, really quickly, all that's happened right before this, because it is an intro, uh, we essentially ran around the room here, doing all our tests, like up, down, left, right. There's a skull, by the way, back here. There it is. It's the iron skull. Uh, and our, we got activated here, our shield generators. Our shield generators are activated by an electric pulse. Uh, I don't know exactly that. It, it's a yellow beam that goes around you. They even say it in the first book, if you read it. Uh, and then all of a sudden we find out the Covenant, who is the enemy, is attacking. And that door doesn't look quite blasted open, but it did. There was a guy up there, and he got blasted. He got shot. So we're going to go through the game. Uh... I'm going to be probably now talking between the cinematics because just sitting there was quite boring. Unless it's a shooter and they're talking, I'll probably have some input. Like during that opening scene, uh, we were on the Pillar of Autumn. A little fun hint for that is when they made this game, they didn't have the ability to kind of pan around the ship so what they or have the ship moving. So they used the camera to pan around it so that it looked like... Uh, we were actually flying, or the ship was flying. I don't remember the reason why, they just said it was incredibly difficult to do the scene at the time too. Uh, but what we're doing, we're headed to the bridge, we're gonna go talk to Captain Keys and see what is going on, because we are uh, Master Chief, uh, Spartan 117. By the way, little thing here. Uh, one nice thing on this, hopefully it doesn't crash on me. These are the new graphics, and because I'm on uh, actually doing the Xbox One version, you can flip between the graphics and you can see what they've changed for the new and the old. Uh, Defy the Covenant, all that stuff. So um, this one's always my favorite one, Cat Found. It's a possum, so I hope you enjoy those things. And if you ever want it, right here is a terminal. I will probably see, I'm not going to go out of my way to find the skulls and do the terminals, but I am going to pop, like show them if I pass them. Good to see you, Master Chief. Things aren't going By the way, well. he's six back. foot. Like one or two, which means Again, Chief is seven foot, mind you, in the suit. Seven, seven one, I think. A half flirting. Report. It must have been one of their boarding parties. I guess an antimatter charge. Ma'am, fire control for the main cannon is offline. Captain, the cannon was my last offensive option. All right then. I'm initiating cold protocol article. I'll talk about cold protocol article two and what that means. While you do what? You find that out in the first book as well. In a manner of speaking, the object we found, I'm going to try and land the autumn on it. With all due respect, sir, this war has enough dead heroes. I appreciate your concern, Cortana, but it's not up to me. Here's them stating it. Protocol is clear. Destruction or capture of the shipboard AI is absolutely unacceptable, and that means you're leaving. Lock in a selection of emergency landing zones, upload them to my neural lace, and then sort yourself for a heart transfer. Aye, aye, sir. Which is where you come in, Chief. And the information I say, don't take it, like, 100%. Uh, there's probably some things I'm going to say that are wrong or very close, but something might be a little inaccurate, depending. I understand. And that deep macho voice of Master Chief. There you go. <laughs> the original. It's still the same guy, but it was always like one line or two lines here of like three words. Excellent work, Cortana. Thank you. Are you ready? Yank me. It's a massive chip. In the first one, it was much smaller. Like original graphics, when I say that. Your architecture isn't much different from the Autumn's. Don't get any funny ideas. I don't keep it loaded, son. 
It still looks like a great game, though, honestly, still to date. Um, so what Cold Protocol is, is uh, Cold Protocol is, well, essentially, here we are. We're right now floating towards this ring that we just discovered in the middle of space. We're going to go and land on it because we're being attacked by the Covenant. Uh, what Cold Protocol is, though, specifically, is that when a ship is being attacked and we are running out of options, like we don't have any way of maneuvering, we don't have any way of uh, actually getting out of here. With Cold Protocol, if we feel like we are going to get captured by the Covenant, uh, we are going to... What you do, essentially, is you destroy all files, so anything that can trace back to Earth. The reason why this was initiated was because uh, the Covenant was taking over all the colonies and they didn't want... Uh, Covenant to find out Earth, the original planet, of course, uh, and they didn't want, oh yeah, this is her, hold on, um, they didn't want to do that, so what they would do is destroy all files on the ship, and also, uh, if needed, they would initiate self-destruction so that there was no way of getting those files again as well. Uh, you see that in the book, they do the first book, The Fall of Reach, which is why Halo Reach the game was also introduced because the first book is Fall of Reach and that was essentially a second Earth and it's where everything happened, everything went on. Oop, little lag spike there, probably from the next loading scene. There you go. Um, so Code Protocol initiated essentially just saying we gotta get off the ship and we need to uh, come up with another plan, get rid of any information on Earth specifically Earth, so that the Covenant can't find their way back to Earth. Akka's Reach is like the last planet, pretty much, of all the Earth colonies. It has the outer colonies and inner colonies, and then Earth being essentially the center is the way you can think of it. Um, but what we're fighting here, these are grunts, and then the bigger guys we've been fighting as well are called elites. They come in blue, red, uh, like a steel color, which is invisible, which we don't see till later. Uh, blue is your common guys. And then... We will find gold, which are the most menacing in this one. And I don't think any other ones in this one yet. So Halo 1 has some simplistic things with at least design for the sake of when the original game first came out and you saw like, oh, uh, a gold elite. And as I said, it does really the difficulty. So you, blue, red, then uh, gold. When you saw a gold elite, you were like, oh no, take him out first because they had stronger shields. And they also, um, or they were just tougher. They normally came at you with something that uh, you weren't familiar with. The first time you see one, there is a weapon that, for the Halo fans, it's been out long enough. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to hide anything. It's a plasma grenade. There you go. Um, it's an energy sword, and he comes at you with it. And the steel one, when I say steel armor, you'll see it later on the third level. They're the uh, elites who have active camouflage. And when you see them and you kill them, they don't have a shield, but their armor is usually a little different. Not blue exactly. Alright, so what these are, by the way, as well, the, the, how I'm going to do this is probably talk more about like what's going on, what's the game, what these are. These are uh, just essentially pods that attach. These are normally our escape pods. Ooh, grunts so left. Our skate pods and they're just boarding crafts that come back on so as she says later or i don't know if she already said it uh we go out they come in so they're just essentially trying to take over the ship because uh the pillar of autumn is one of the only ships or at least one of the main ships and essentially because it's a star cruiser uh that was one of the few to escape reach in time because halo reach or not Halo Reach, that's the game. The Planet Reach was, like I said, invaded by the Covenant, one of the last big planets, because it was a, a military forefront. That's where all, like, if you had to regroup, it was Reach. The Spartans, which Master Chief here, they were trained and everything on Reach. Reach was a vital planet, and the fact of losing it was very big in the Halo timeline. And uh, what you find from this is, because they're attacking everything like that, we lost, oop, hold on. Oh no, never mind, he's dead. Um, there's screams, jeez. Uh, I'm trying to think of now what I was gonna say. They're just trying to essentially, Covenant has their uh, ideology and what it comes into play later 
it's mainly it will come into the ring i'll probably describe it more uh towards the later levels because their halo one is 10 levels i gotta think of something to talk about for 10 levels um but essentially they're just trying to eradicate humans right now because they don't they think we don't agree with them, and we don't, because uh, we find out what's actually going on and what's wrong with their ideology in this case. It sounds very judgmental, however, when you play this game, you will find out why there's an issue with the belief, <laughs> because they believe that ring out there was made by an advanced race, which it is. They are called the Forerunners. However, they think that if you activate that ring, which we find out later, honestly, I guess I'm not going to talk about it later, uh, is a weapon. It was made for a purpose. I will not say the purpose until later, until, like, I think it's level 6. Um, it will be called 343 Guilty Spark is the level. Um, but for now, what they find is it's they think when they light the ring, it will give them religious freedom. Like, they will go to... Uh, essentially, it's called the Great Journey. That's what it is meant for. While we know it's a weapon and it is meant for a different purpose, not for uh, a way of getting into essentially like a Valhalla kind of place for them. And But more towards Reach, why as well it was such a big fall was because in Halo Reach, or Halo Reach, you do find out in Halo Reach that uh, a lot of things were connected, and the reason why the Pillar of Autumn is so important, you uh, mainly find out in the book, is during the defense and everything like that of Reach, when they attack suddenly, uh, there is an operation going on, and we'll actually, as I bring that up, this makes sense. So, here's Master Chiefs, and here's Linda. Linda is one of, uh, and you won't see this in the old graphics, but Linda is one of the other Spartans that was on Master Chief's team. She gets badly wounded, and she's actually on this ship right now. We leave Reach suddenly while all the other Spartans are out on deployment and trying to fight off the Covenant on Reach. But Linda's in here. She's really hurt. Don't You can't see her. Of course, they didn't introduce that. They did just put that in on these graphics, of course. Um, so you're the last two known Spartans because all the others are off on deployment, all that. You're the two escaping. Mind you, Linda is super wounded because of a fight uh, where she got plasma burned. And, uh, but the reason why the Pillar of Autumn is so important is because there's a whole lore with it. Not lore, it's just, I mean, it is lore. It's the background of why Captain Keys is so important and how he's linked to Chief and why Chief and all the Spartans became what they were. Uh, there is so much, and I will probably talk about it all as the time goes on. But, uh, the connection of the Pillar of Autumn... Whoop! <laughs> grenades are super explosive in this one, especially frag grenades. Uh, but why the Pillar of Autumn is so important is it was escorting Spartans on a run to go and take out a cruiser and do a... I forgot exactly what was happening at the time. They were going after on a ship. They were trying to also do a few rescues, and then all of a sudden... Uh, they get the call that reaches under attack and they have to return. Uh, ball, and all the other Spartans go on deployment while the other team goes onto the ship. And in the end, it turns to be Chief and Linda. They get on the Pillar of Autumn. Pillar of Autumn is actually an older ship. It was refitted completely and it was randomly refitted. So normally a refitting just means like you get new frames, you get new like other things, not something that's super structurally sound. However, the Spartans are very important. Uh, they are essentially the original Spartans, so Chief is a Spartan too. They are the first successful, fully successful Spartans. Uh, meaning that they survived what was called genetic augmentation, all that stuff. More stuff to talk about later. Um, however, so during all of this, the Pillar of Autumn was refitted to take care of uh, just essentially it was Captain Keys and his mission with the Spartans. Uh, but it was fully refitted underneath someone's orders for ONI. ONI stands for Office of Naval Intelligence. Um, underneath what was... Oh no, I accidentally skipped the cinematic. I'll input it later. I'll have to do that. There we go. Now I got the scene back. 
very good time to leave. Autumn can take. By the way, I had to redo this entirely the next day. That's why it looks so casual in the recording. <laughs> I mean, it looks the same. I just didn't fill it in. Look. But what we're doing here is uh, first looking at the ring going to land. Uh, I don't know where because I'm doing the recording in the next day. Um, what I was even talking about as of the point up here. But besides that, just wanted to get the cinematic partially in. And there we go. That was one thing I did miss out on talking about yesterday was keys manually brings in the uh, pillar of autumn. And this is us landing because we just Ooh. sure you wouldn't rather take a seat? <laughs> we'll be fine. If I still had fingers they'd be crossed. And there we go. I'll let future Dylan put this all together so it looks smooth, hopefully. But now welcome back. This should be the second level. Uh, I'm going to actually end as we crash land, probably, on the first level. Because that went by quickly. Yeah, so during that cinematic, essentially, we're just landing on the ring now. We got on one of the last Chief? escape pods. Chief, can you hear me? At last. Are you all right? And then we find everyone else died during that impact because, again, like I said, the Spartans are very special and I'll get more into that in the next episode. But just to wrap up my final thought, there was uh, one thing that it was, it was the essentially the Pillar of Autumn got refitted completely with what would be billions of dollars uh, and it was super armored and it has like advanced technology all that stuff all under the orders of Oni and Dr. Halsey who is the woman who actually created the Spartans and the Spartan 2 specifically and it the Spartan program was her program she's the one who uh, did all the science and everything behind it she is the world's and the I'm gonna say universe's smartest human woman in the whole series and she is tough as a character but thank you so much for watching the first episode of what i am already enjoying because i love talking and especially about halo uh i hope you enjoyed the first level uh let me know if there's some other things you would want to see mind you i probably won't see you're gonna if you do post a comment i'll read them but they won't come into effect more than likely until the next halo because you're gonna see i'm not going to change because i'm going to be doing all these recordings in one session for the first game so every campaign i will more than likely sit here for the next two or three hours recording the whole campaign just makes it easy but again thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the first level of halo one one of my favorite series and uh yeah see you all next time